it's it's great to have you here. Good morning. Congratulations on start two of your career at stop number two. I got to ask you, you win, your brother wins on Sunday. What was that like to just for the family to see that sort of weekend, you Friday, him Sunday? Uh, man, it, it was a blessing. Uh, I mean, the main thing is that we got the – both teams got the win. And um, I'm just happy my family got to watch both of our games, especially my parents. So, man, it was just a blessing. Ty Leah, how important was it to – have your parents in the stands when you got that win in Maryland? Oh, no. To me, that's that's the biggest thing. I mean, just have them watch me play. I, my grandparents got to watch a game, too, so I'm not too sure how much games they, they're going to be able to watch. So for them to um, come and watch our first home game, I mean, it was, it was a blessing. So I hope they can make more games. I was going to ask you, how, how difficult was that for you, T? Like, when was the last time you saw your family before last Friday? Yeah, um, my parents. I seen my parents um, last week, uh, the first game. And but my grandparents, I haven't seen them in a long time. Probably the last time I've been to Hawaii. So it was a little emotional when I seen them. But you know, it was a good thing that we we got to win. So, Tylea went. Obviously, your brother now has moved on from Alabama. He, he's down in Miami. How often do you guys talk and communicate? about the level of quarterback that you need to play at Maryland to get your team to where you want them to be? Um, yeah, me and my brother talk about every day. And, um, I mean, when we do talk about football, he, he just tells me to, you know, just play every play like, you know, it should last. And, you know, not to play with pressure and just have fun like I like I did the last game. I think the first game I, I was kind of just – you know, trying to make big plays and trying to, uh, you know, just be anxious and, you know, try to start a spark. But, you know, I just have to take it one play at a time. And, yeah. <laughs> Zubin, mentioned, Zubin mentioned that you – this is your second stop at Maryland. You started your college career at Alabama the Knicks State Saban. Then you transferred to Maryland under Locks, Coach Locksky. What take us through the decision to transfer out of Alabama and go be a Terp? Um, yeah, um, I left Alabama because I, you know, I wanted to be on the field, and um, my decision, you know, it was a, it's always a family decision for us, and you know, my family has a good relationship with Coach Loxley, you know, knowing that he coached Tua, and um, you know, the biggest thing was my mom, you know, as, as long as she knows that I'm okay in, in Maryland with Coach Lox, then she'll be good. So. I mean, Coach Locks is a great coach, and the biggest thing is that my parents trust him, so that's why I came here. It's great stuff. I know how much your family means to you. I remember when Tua first moved down to Alabama, the entire family moved down there to Alabama to support him, so <laughs> it's great for the culture. It's great for the community, and I'm so happy to see how great you are playing out of the gate. That game against Minnesota, that's going to go down as one of the best Big Ten games in the season, and we're barely scratching the surface in the conference. Congratulations, and sure. best of luck the rest of the way. Yes, sir. Thank right. you. Good nice luck, Tom. Nice to meet you guys. Good All right, man. Same to you. Yes, First thing I got to yes, say sir. here, he sounds exactly like Tua. He sounds yeah. exactly like Tua. That's I know the, it's brothers and all that. I mean, just like if you just put up a cut of Tua and his brother, I'm not sure I can tell the but difference. You, but you really know what that is, though? Tell that's me. That's the calm island life, though. Yeah. That's the chill, just right. the laid back, calm. I mean, you know, when, when you grew up on the West Coast, like I have, you just run into the Polynesian culture, just all of that. Just everything is just mm. cool. It's just like chill, no stress, no nothing. Right, especially in today's society yes. where everybody is stressed out all the time. But it's also funny because there's an alternative of, of that where it can be used against you, right? Sometimes you hear guys from, like, well, he's too cool. Well, that's he's people that don't relaxed. get it. I, I hear Yeah, you. that's people that don't get it. I hear you. But that's a fascinating little insight. And obviously, if you don't know, the Polynesian culture, the way that they have – move their way into college football and have great representation in the NFL. It's really an Damn, amazing a story about all the guys that have come out of that culture and played football, whether it's from Fiji, Hawaii, all around the world, the Polynesian culture. What is that? Eight? No, that's 10 hours. What are you, five? Maryland. It's a 10 hour, 11 hours to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a long, we went a long ways. You know what I'm saying? Coming yeah. all the way from Hawaii to go all the way to Maryland, even though he stopped in Alabama, that's 11 hours from the crib. Talk about culture shock. <laughs> Not culture shock, homesick. <laughs> yeah. What? what there's no, what's at the that closest? Age. At that age. What would be the closest 
beach to that that little area right there, like uh, Virginia Beach or something like that? Probably. Ocean City, you say? Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. It's yeah. Different water, though. That water in Hawaii. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no. So that Ocean different. City water That's probably so all different. brown and yeah. ugh. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.